What's up, my dogs? Ice hey, Boy here. So, welcome back to Vald of Warcraft. Here I am with my warlock. She's now level 15. I haven't done the first dungeon yet, which I believe begins at level 17. I think folks do it from 17 to 25 or something like that. But nonetheless, I'm getting a hang of this character, okay? And check this out. I have the big blue genie motherfucker with me. So you can control him as your minion. And this is how Warcraft works, okay? This is Warcraft Classic. You control your camera like this. You can move around and shit. It's not turn-based combat. You can straight up hack at things just like in Diablo. You have a freaking arsenal of skills and abilities. And... All the characters have their own unique roles. You know what I'm saying? Like this warlock, for example, I think is known for their DPS. And she does a lot of stuff that has to do with damage over time. Okay? See, check this out. And like I said, I have this mouse here. Which has a bunch of hotkeys on it. You see that? It's 12. I only have a few of them assigned. Because part of the allure of this game, I think... Is how involved it is, like uh, methodically speaking, okay, and strategically speaking. It's like a fucking game of chess when you're dueling someone, for example, or when you're juggling multiple enemies, and how your cooperation with other players is. You know what I'm saying? It's it's toad as fuck, man. Like you guys should really try this shit. If you haven't yet, if you're interested, all right, and having a damn good time, but all right, check this out. So I can make my genie motherfucker go at this guy. I'll make him do that right now, and then I'm gonna cast a curse on him. Oh fuck! So he saw me. So the genie guy distract distracts him, and I have three damage over time skills on him now. You see that corruption, immolate, and uh, curse of agony. So I can just start swatting him with my wand, and this is a free attack. It doesn't cost any mana. You can also fear enemies. I'll show you that in a minute here. And they start to run away when they uh, when they almost die often. But check this out. I could act, I'll, I'll try to take on both of these guys. All right, it, it ain't gonna be fun. It's gonna be fucked up. Okay, my my genie guy is gonna go after him. I'm gonna cast uh, a curse. The light his ass up on fire, and the corruption skill. And then here's this guy. I'll get him at me. That was dumb. See, because now I, I should have feared him before he got to me. You see, as you guys can see, Ice Boy is still learning in sheet, okay? Yeah, but there you have it. I got... There's two enemies at once. And if you get good, you can juggle three enemies. Sometimes four enemies. It's cray-cray. Oh, fuck. Okay, my, my genie thing's dead. It's called the, uh, what's it called? The Void Walker? I think is what it's called. You can also summon an Imp. You can summon a Succubi. I'm not to that point yet. But you see this? I can go over this skill. Oh, shit. All right, you guys can't see it, but uh, I have to assign my camera to go bye-bye when I push a hotkey. This is a different, uh, a different interface than OBS that I'm using right now. Okay, check this out. So I'll just click the damn button, and she starts to summon this Void Walker. It does require one of these Soul Shards to summon him. Your minions, they talk and shit. It's pretty cool, man. But, alright, I'll try this again with two enemies. Oh, and there's a level 18 one. So that one's going to be pretty good, but I'm going to give this a shot anyway. I think you kind of want your guy to hit him first. I'll make this guy run now. Before oh, he hit me once. Yeah, the level 18 is strong. See, he's he's a higher level than uh, my uh, my summon and myself here. I should have I should have feared him earlier, dumbass. See what I'm saying though? It's all strategic and shit, man. 
And it warms you up to it because it's really simple at first. And it still is simple as fuck, to be honest with you guys. Like, once you have, like, five players in a team and you're doing a dungeon, and you have to orchestrate your battles, like, so... Not perfectly, but, you know, in some cases, I mean, the more, the further you get and the more optimal you get, you know, you, it's pretty much a strive for perfection, man. With who's casting what at what time, who's fearing the enemies, who's doing the DPS, who's healing, who's, uh, who's crawling them up, you know, and keeping them at bay and shit like that. So right now I'm just soloing. But this is a fucking blast, Okay. Uh, it's, it's just really rewarding, man. And the world is... It's pretty big. It's vast as fuck. So... It's just... It's a journey, man. It's a spiritual journey and shit. And as I've said in a previous video, I did get a mage to level 46. I haven't played in probably over a year. Video capture device. So I'm going to make this go away for a minute. Because I found something. What the fuck was that? I found this? Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking shit. Okay. An upgrade. Okay, I can't I can't wear the staff. But anyway. So here's another enemy, level 16. See I make the void walker go at him. He can start he can generate aggro, is what it's called. Aggression. I think he generates it because then you don't want the enemies to run to you because sometimes if you hurt them more than your summons hurting them which is easy to do they might come at you but that's why this character is known for their damage over time spells so you're not doing a lot of damage at once it's just slowly draining his life there we go so this quest oh shit them green items man are toad Okay, it's, it's not it's not I can use. I, my character wears cloth items because uh, she's like a, a mage in shit. Oh fuck. Okay, so there's there's two. All right, so I'm gonna try this again. And I've noticed with this character, I'm not drinking water constantly. The thing is with the mage, I was constantly drinking water, man, to replenish her mana. But I think this character is known for their sustainability. If you if you play your cards right. So for those of you who are more experienced in Warcraft, uh, let me know in the comments if I'm onto something with that. Son of a bitch. See, then when he's running away, you can start hacking away at this Whammon. And then he comes back to you. You see how Toad is fucked this is? Are you, are you guys seeing this? It's, this game is, uh, I mean, it's a challenge, man, all right? Like, like, uh, I'm very, uh, it's a challenge, and it's it's a challenge all the way through. Like, my mage at 46, with all the work I put into her, man, it just, uh, it's a continual challenge. And a lot of it is just getting proficient at your skills and what to cast when, and even your dexterity on your fucking keyboard and mouse, you know, that's a big thing as well. You got to get really efficient at using those. Oh, there's a quest. I think you can just sell stuff to this guy. What the? What the toy? All right. So according to my quest, as you can see here, see, these are the guys I was slaying. All right. Because I'm in the... Uh, I'm in Westfall now, and the dungeon is over here by Moonbrook. There's this dungeon. You have to kill these pirates and this pirate motherfucker. It's it's a damn good time, man. I was doing it on my mage. So I'm looking forward to doing that quest, getting to level 17, I think, when I can perhaps uh, dare to try. But, yeah, as you can see, I only got to kill... A couple more of these of these guys right here yep this one so comment below if you dogs have tried the world of warcraft uh the classic one especially retail it seems to be such a different game 
because they hand everything to you basically from my experience I, I got to like level 12 or something within 20 minutes well classic took me several hours to get to level 12 and they just start handing you the skills they start handing you the gear this is just there's a lot more punishment in this game man uh, there's a lot more to master here I think in in the in the old one which is this and I think that they're um, actually going to release the expansion that came out for classic back in the day it's called burning crusade and let me know in the comments uh, what are the best changes of burning crusade because I believe that one was a very well received expansion unlike many of the later expansions okay oh here's the last one holy shit all right i finished the quest so this chick's gonna be godly as fuck in no time so i'll kill this guy i'll go turn in the quest Ooh, my uh, void walker is almost dead i'm gonna make this guy run away i have this other skill here check it out it's called shadow bolt i don't use it very often it costs a lot of mana but it's good to have i think when you're in a pinch and you have to finish off an enemy especially at a distance so I killed his ass, and now what I have to do, I have to run all the way here. And that's a, a pretty long ways, all right? So I'm going to uh, stop the video. I wonder if I should run through this area, because it could be dangerous. A lot of these enemies might have respawned. Because what I did is I camped out, like right up here somewhere. And I was gone for hours. Look at this, here's a, here's a high level. Level 60 right there. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Let me know in the comments below what would what type of business would a level 60 have to do here in Westfall? All right. Yeah, there's there's so much of this game to learn. Um, this is nice because I'm familiar with all this. Like I said, I got my mage to to 46. Oh shit, this isn't good. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen. He's going to beat the shit out of my uh, my Void Walker here. See, because his health is right here. But I'm going to I'm gonna use the Shadow Bolts on this guy and just beat the shit out of him. There's another. There's another high level. Look at that, level 60. What the toad are they doing here? But anyway, so as you can see here, check out the map. See, that's, that's how fast you're moving, basically. And I got to run all the way up there. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you guys uh, me turning this quest and I believe I'll get some items from it. On the way to the quest, check this out. I made it right here. There's another quest that I have to collect. Um, let me show you. It shows up on the little menu here. See? See that? The uh, Great Gore Tusk Snout. Yeah, I have to uh, collect those. So, I can go around and hunt these pigs. And there's other things that I have to collect as well. Oh shit, I didn't curse him. There we go. And you don't always get it, okay? It's like a one in five chance or something. See, I didn't get it right there. But anyway. So there's a lot in the game where that's how it is like you have to collect 10 bandanas from killing bandits and a bandit can drop at max one bandana but they only have like a one in five chance to drop a bandana okay so there's a lot of rolls of luck and even those sort of situations okay that's just part of what makes this game uh what it is it's a damn good time man so i'm going to turn in this quest i'll be right back all right, so I made it up the damn hill. I'm over here now. And see the yellow question marks are, are the quests that you can turn in if you have this questy downloaded. And I can select from these items, you see? This one does more damage per second. 12.8 compared to my 11.3. It's a wand. And the ones in red, she can't use anyway. They're heavy items and things like that. And I gained a lot of experience, so my experience bar is almost full. You guys can't see the full bar, but I only have one more of these little tabs on it left to fill. So 
So I can open up my bags and uh, select that wand right here. You see that? And I can hold shift and it compares to the one that I have. Wait a second. Oh, fuck. What is this shit? That's not the one that I just grabbed. Where the, okay, here it is. You see that 11.3 compared to 12.8. Uh, so I'm gonna put on this new wand and there we are. The women has the new wand. So take it out, put it away and shit. So you take that shit out. Oh no, she has the, she has the dagger out. Okay, now she has the wand out, but. And there's a lot of inventory slots that I haven't even put an item in yet. See, it's crack crack. I have trinkets and stuff, but I just have regular stuff. These are like plain boots. No, not magic, not rare, not unique, not anything, man. Here's a green item. I think green is a step up from regular. So I have a couple green items. They're kind of like magic items from Diablo. They're also blue and purple and orange items. I don't know what order they go in in terms of rarity. And there might be more even. But So it's kind of like uh, magic and rare and unique and so forth. I believe but and you can uh, you can fly around the world when you get to these checkpoints you have to get to the checkpoint first to be able to fly to it so this checkpoint I got to and you can fly these griffins around if you're uh, the Alliance see I can open up this map here and I can fly to uh, wherever else I found them this is just one part of the world this whole map here there's more but I don't even know where I need to be going right now. I'll take a look over here. Like I have this quest I can turn in. Here's Stormwind, the big city. Oh, okay. I have a couple. Uh, oh, I have a couple quests to turn in there. So I'm going to fly there. Hey there. All right. And I'm going to uh, log out then. So Stormwind, here's what it does. And you have to wait. You can't skip this shit. Sometimes it takes what seems to be five minutes, not fucking with you guys, 10 minutes. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a while because the Griffins, they go on routes, all right? They like to show off the land, the layout. Sometimes they weave up over the castle and shit. They'll fly over a dragon. I'm not even kidding you guys. Game's told, and you can see folks fighting and shit. You'll see folks in this world fighting and shit. Because there are, I think, hundreds of players, man, in this area. Like, potentially right now, okay? A lot of them are at Stormwind. There's a few headquarters for the Alliance, for example, and the Horde as well. Uh... The Horde, the bunch of commies, right? But that's for a different video. Yeah, but for the Alliance, they're about elegance, man. You know what I'm saying? The Alliance, they're about order and shit. And hard work, you know what I mean? They're about uh, things of refinement and so forth and beauty. The Horde is ugly as fuck. They ravage and pillage and destroy and burn. But I mean, I'm just saying, part of the reasons why I picked Alliance, all right? But nonetheless, I mean, the Horde is ugly as fuck, all right? Like, look at this chick. Do I want to be looking at her all damn day or some ugly as fuck orc or undead? You know what I'm saying? So part of the reasons I chose Alliance, all right? But here's Storm. And look at all these players, dog. Holy fucking shit. Look at all this shit. And you can do like raids or something where there's like 40 of you at once. Trying to kill a dragon and shit. Or a big ass flaming motherfucker. For real. Sulfur or something. I don't know what his name is. But yeah. And look at it. They have the mounts. You can get a mount at 40. They're expensive. They're a lot of gold. My character only has... For gold. But I gave some to her. From my mage. I said fuck it. I just gave her a little tiny bit. I don't plan to give her any more. Because I got started once. But then I got started again on a different server. 
So I was like, I don't want to have to go through all this again without, you know, having a nice bag or two. So I, I gave her gold so I could get the bags. But look at this, dog. These are all active players, okay? This is fucking cray cray. And you can go on big battles against the horde. I think they can come and attack the fucking city. They can kill the NPCs and shit on a PvP server, which is what this is. But yeah, more videos to come on the world of Warcraft. I let me know if you guys want to see more videos on this and my progress with this character. One or two levels from now, I think I'm going to be able to do the first dungeon in the game, and I can do it as many times as I want, man. You can get items from there, and that's when the teamwork really begins. So I'll show you guys that, all right? Peace be with you. Become a patron if you want. Thank you to my patrons. May the Creator bless ye and keep ye. Peace with you.